To be able to create actually to model shapes like this in Revit, you don't need to use super advanced tools or techniques. Actually, it's completely opposite. Uh, you just need to use very basic tools and you could be a complete beginner. If you just follow this tutorial step by step, you will be able to model this in a couple of minutes. But what's very important to know is that you will need to understand the geometry itself and then how this one is structured. And for that purpose, I just made a crop of this image here so we can understand geometry and realize how this is, let's say, create from the base. So I'm going to create a screenshot and I will create some lines, straight lines. And I will just extend them like this. So to me, this look like uh, like the triangle with the equal sides. And what I can see that this picture is not completely orthogonal. And to me, the top of this look like is the intersection. Actually, that's the midpoint of the triangle in this one. And then, as you can see, I'm going to just take the, the other color that this is continuing line. So it means that in continuation of this one, we are having the other triangle. And for that triangle, if we take a look here, so this is number one and then this is number one, they're parallel. Then we have this one, so that's number two. And then this is number two, this line. And then we have the third line here. And that third one is parallel with this one. And the same happens with this triangle. First of all, in Revit, for this purpose, just to understand geometry, to create its base, I'm going to create two line types. And the first one is going to be called as Architezi Primary. It's going to be Architezi Red color, and I'm going to add the thickness of 4. And then I'm going to create one more, and it's going to be Architezi Secondary. Thickness 2, and then let's add this green color. I will take detail line. Let's take this Architezi primary and I'm going to create one side of, let's say, 10 meters. And I will then create one more with a 60 degrees because we are speaking about the equal size triangle. Let's mirror this one. And I will trim this. So this one is done. And I will take this line again and I'm going to create, I'm going to find the midpoint of the triangle. And here it comes. So what do we have next is you remember that I said that we are going to have the triangle, which is continuation of, of this line. And then it means that this side here starts from center, you remember, as well as this one. So they are starting from this midpoint, as you can see. So I will go back to Revit and I'm going to take Architezi primary. So let's say that the left triangle is going to be eight and a half meters, while the left one is going to be seven and a half. I'm going to select this one, rotate and place center of rotation here and rotate it for 60 degrees. I can do, I can take the mirror MM and then I will take DM and make it like this and DM here from the midpoint, trim this one and uh, let's take this secondary line and make it to the midpoint here as well as here. So we got our base and now we can move forward and construct the shape, actually create the model. If you would like to support Architezi and get way more in return, you can do that by joining our Architezi Plus group, that's our Patreon on steroids, and you can find the link for it in a video description. As you can see, this cabin is created out of one element and that's the roof. So we need to create the roof tool. So to do that, I will go to architecture, roof, and I'm going to take roof by footprint. 
In this case, I'm going to start from level 1 and then I will just, I can take this roof, it doesn't matter. And I will take peak lines, so I'm going to create it from here. And for this slope, I'm going to take 75 degrees. Let's create a 3D view. So the first one is here. In 3D view, I'm going to turn off annotation categories. Let's go to our view here and then let's create the same one CS, create similar, level one again, and then let's pick this triangle and again here make slopes to 75 degrees and create similar. So it's this icon. And let's make the third one. So all three of them on a first level, actually on a level one, 75 degrees. And we have them. But there is one thing which is not added here. Sorry for this one. This one should be at level one. I made a mistake. So as I said, all three of them should be at level one. And we are missing some some lines here so you see that the geometry doesn't cut and also if you take a look at the picture we have those sides here so our roof is going to continue this way but we need to cut out this part of triangle so how can we make it i will go to the level one and then for this purpose i'm going to use the tool which is called vertical opening i will take it i'm going to select roof and then i will start from the intersection of those lines the first one and i will just make it like this and i can take this one as well Actually, sorry, vertical, select this roof, and then I'm gonna repeat it. I can just take trim and close it like this. Let's go to 3D. So you see how it look like. And I need also to do the same here. But in this case, we have no this distance. So I can, for example, take architeasy secondary, and then I will take move tool, SC, snap to center. And I'm going to move it here. So I will now take vertical again, select it. And then let's take, let's have chain on. So here it comes. I made this one as well. And on the same way, I need to create the openings on the other side. So I will, I will need to go to architecture, vertical, let's select and finish this, this roof. And of course, you can also take peak lines, take trim, hit OK, and here is done. And by the way, I will need to create, I will need to create those uh, those circles here as well. So here comes this one, copy this one, select it and copy this one from its center to here. And then I'm gonna create one more vertical, but look at this. Before I was creating three of them separately. And in this case, I'm gonna create three of them like this and I will just need split to split it and of course they need to be cleaned up and closed loops let's hit apply and you can do it that way as well so you don't need to create three of them separately so maybe this one is too aggressive and of course, if you would like to adjust it, you can anytime just take this one, for example, or we can maybe, let's say, say that we would like to have this as a two meters. So I can move it 
and then make it like this and I can create circle here as well and make it two meters let's just move this one to here so let's confirm this one so here it comes and basically what what you need to do is to finish it I will just let's say create two circles here I'm gonna make this one as two and a half meters as well as this one and I will go to vertical and I'm gonna create two more openings let's hit ok so you see that's it it was quite simple and you don't want to miss this tutorial if you would like to know how to create and to model complex roofs forms on a very simple way in Revit.